Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply backpropagation algorithm to update the weights in multi-layer perceptor network. This is the solved example number two. The link for other solved example is given in the description below. This is the problem definition where we have been given a sigma and activation function with a different set of neurons. We have to perform a forward pass and a backward pass on this network. Assume that the actual output is 1 and the learning rate is 0.9. We have to perform another forward pass in this case. This is the network given to us where x1, x2, x3 are the inputs with values 1, 0, 1. h4 and h5 are the hidden layer neurons and h6 is the output layer neuron in this case. w14, w15 and so on are the hidden layer weights. w46 and w56 are the output layer weights. Theta 4, Theta 5, Theta 6 are the bias with respect to H4, H5 and O6 in this case. In backpropagation algorithm, the input is propagated through the network so that we can calculate the output at the output layer. Once the output is calculated, we calculate the error. Using error, we update this particular weights. Once the weights are updated, again the input is propagated through the network. Again, we will calculate the output at the output layer. We calculate the error. If the error is acceptable, we stop the algorithm. Now we try to understand how to propagate this particular input uh, through the network. First, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to calculate the output at H4 and H5. Once you calculate the output and at H4 and H5, this is given as an input to O6 so that we can calculate output at O6 here. So we have to calculate uh, uh, output at H4, H5 as well as O6 in this case that is uh, denoted by uh, y4, y5 and y6. To calculate output at any neuron, first we need to calculate the summation term that is nothing but uh, wij multiplied by xi. Once you calculate the summation term, we have to apply the sigma function so that we will get the uh, output here. So first we try to calculate the output at uh, uh, h4 here that is a4 is equal to that is w14 multiplied by x1 w24 multiplied by x2, w34 multiplied by x3 and then uh, plus uh, theta4 here. So once you do this, uh, you will get the a4 as uh, minus uh, 0.7. The sigma term in this case is uh, 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus aj. So O of uh, h4, that's the output at uh, h4 is equal to y4, which is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to uh, 0.7 because this minus and this minus will get cancelled we will get 0 0.332 here similarly we will calculate output at uh, this h5 first we calculate the a5 that is the summation term which is equal to 0.1 and then we calculate output at h5 that is nothing but y5 here which is equal to 0.525 here once you calculate these two things, uh, these two, that is uh, y4 and y5 are given as an input to O6 so that we will calculate the output at O6 here. First, we calculate the summation term again. Once you calculate the summation term, we will get minus uh, 0.105. We calculate the output at O6, which is equal to y6. The answer is 0 0.474 in this case. So once you calculate the output at the output layer, we can calculate the error term. The actual output expected is 1. We calculated 0 0.474 here. So the error in this case is 0.526 is the error here. Now what we need to do is we need to modify this particular weights in such a way that we can reduce this particular error. So that is what the main intention over here. So to update this particular weights, we use this particular equation that is uh, uh, delta wji first we need to calculate and then we need to add this particular term to the actual uh, weight so that we will get the modified weight to calculate delta wji we use learning rate multiplied by delta j multiplied by oi delta j is the error term at jth unit there are two kind of uh, units are there one is the output unit another one is the hidden unit if it is the output unit we need to use this equation if it is a hidden unit, you need to use this equation. OI is the actual output calculated in the previous uh, slide. And N is the learning rate. Now that is already set, which is equal to 0.9 here. 
Now we use these equations first to calculate the error terms. Once you calculate this error term that is delta j, we use this particular uh, error terms uh, to calculate the delta wji. We add this delta wji to wji to get the modified weight here. Now uh, we will try to understand how to calculate the error term at h4, h5 and uh, o6. That is nothing but delta 4, delta 5 and delta 6. Delta 6 is equal to the output at uh, o6 multiplied by 1 minus output at o6 that is uh, y6 multiplied by 1 minus y6 multiplied by y target minus y6 here y target is the actual output y6 is the calculated output so we know all those things we will put it here we will get minus uh, it is 0 0.1311 here now similarly what we do is uh, we calculate the error term at h4 and h5 to calculate error at h4 and h5 what we do here is uh, we calculate we use this equation where we use the calculated output multiplied by summation of delta k that is the output layer error multiplied by weight term here so in this case we will get something like this delta 5 is equal to y5 multiplied by 1 minus y5 that is the output at uh, fifth uh, node multiplied by uh, w56 this is the w56 and the error at the output uh, node that is uh, delta 6 here so using this particular thing we will get uh, what we can say that delta 5 we have already calculated delta 6 now we have calculated delta 5 here now we need to calculate delta 4 again delta 4 is calculated by using this equation that is y4 multiplied by 1 minus y4 that is the output multiplied by 1 minus output this weight that is w46 multiplied by error at o6 error at o6 is nothing but delta 6 we will get this value so once you get these three values that is uh, delta 4 delta 5 and delta 6 we can use this particular equation that is uh, delta wji is equal to learning rate multiplied by error term multiplied by output at i unit to get the modified weights so first uh, we will put the values uh, so that we can understand how to calculate it i will show you two examples one is uh, delta 46 and delta 14 uh, delta 46 is equal to n that is the learning rate delta 6 multiplied by y4 so we know all these values n is known to us delta 6 is known to us y4 is known to us we got this particular value now this is delta 46 it is not the modified weight what we do is we will add this particular uh, delta 46 to get the new weight that is new weight is equal to this uh, delta 46 plus old weight we will get this modified weight here so previously it was uh, minus 0.3 now it is minus 0.261 in this case similarly we will calculate it for uh, delta w14 which is equivalent to minus 0 0.0078 we will use this value to calculate the new weight this is a new weight that's a delta term plus the old weight you will get the new weight here so w14 w14 is uh, previously it was 0.2 now it is 0.192 here similarly what we do is uh, we will calculate the weights uh, for all uh, the weight terms that is delta uh, wji once you calculate it we have to calculate the weights for uh, the bias term also once you calculate the weights for uh, bias term we can uh, forward the input through this network one more time so in this diagram i have shown the updated weights uh, now we need to propagate this particular input through this particular uh, network again that's the second pass so once i if i want to do it uh, first uh, i have to calculate the output at uh, h4 h5 and o6 uh, for that one first we need to calculate the summation term again and then we need to calculate the uh, activation function so that we will get the outputs here so a4 is calculated the value is minus 0.724 and the y4 that's the output is 0.327 previously it was a different value now it is equal to 0.327 similarly uh, we will calculate the output at a5 and then we calculate the output at a6 this is equivalent to 0.515 now the calculated output is 0.515 the error in this case is 1 minus 0.515 which is equal to 0.485 previously it is uh, 0.526 now it is 0.485 the error has got reduced because we have updated the weights here 
if it is uh, okay with you you can stop here otherwise you need to go back again and then we need to modify this particular weights the same process has to be repeated again and again unless and until you are happy with this particular error value in this case i have shown uh, one time how can you do the weight modification the same process can be repeated again and again here so in this video i have discussed how can we apply the back propagation algorithm to the given uh, multi layer perceptron network to update the weights if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching